Welcome back everyone to the um, well, part 2 of my Germany Monarchist playthrough. Um, last episode, um, well, we were pushing in the north and sort of losing in the south. That's partly down to me not deleting my entire military because Germ well, look, we start with 80% of the equipment or so. And also we were building industry in um, the east, which is where they always start. So I was very stupid there. So, um, well, I probably should have started the war straight away. So, I, yeah, um, I was very stupid with some of those things. I have turned the volume off, so you may actually be able to hear me now, which is good, I think. Yeah. Um, right. Going to start off a northern off offensive. They're going to uh, hopefully take Berlin, then um, I'll take the, these areas, and then we can all f then can focus on the south and take Munich, hopefully, and they should be done for. Right. Right, well, um, we're starting to lose a bit on this front. No battles are currently happening in the south, which is good. Um, right. The um, the Poles and the Romanians just decided to uh, guarantee each other's in independence, like every other game, basically. Um, yeah. Right. Um, I set it to aggressive battle plans, and it looks like what we are, well we are losing every single one but one. So I'm going to add. Um, oh, I'm going to add another troop to the southern front. It's a bit difficult. Um, it's a bit of a difficult decision because I might want to get this faster or make the, these um, hold up, but they're holding out. So, so um, yeah, we might run out of fuel soon, so I'm going to have to. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to keep some of these ships in port. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to stop them completely because yeah, we don't have enough fuel to sustain them. We hopefully will when the civil war's over. And um, oh, right, there's a bit of a bulge going on here. So hopefully, if we manage to get that, we can cut off their supply there until Munich becomes the capital, because the supply comes from the capital. On the thing, which shouldn't doesn't well, it doesn't necessarily make much sense, but that's just how it is. Right, well, we are very close to Berlin. We're actually winning. It will take less than a day, so hopefully... Actually, it's only one division in all of them, so chances are we're not going to take it right now. But it'd be great if we could. I'm also going to draw another offensive line going there. And press that to make that go. Right, so hopefully we can cut off their supply to the south. Right, we are very close to cutting off the German supplies, and um, oh, it's a draw currently, which is not ideal, but it's better than losing. I had a little scare with it where um, this tile was empty, and so was this one, so they could have like come through and encircled, because that well, that would have been an absolute nightmare. Um, right, we've been pushed back from Berlin. But it looks like we're winning again, and that and that um, division is retreating. So we should be back to the to the gates of Berlin again very soon. Right, we are slightly being pushed back. Here we've lost the tile, um, and we're just losing the battles, which is not ideal. Um, maybe I could sacrifice this some of the divisions in the south, so the Germans have to reroute to the south, and then I, if I could get there, I can want to Berlin, and then actually, I don't want to take Berlin, I want to take that, because otherwise that will become the capital, and although that would cut off supplies to the entire area, so, you know, yeah, it's, it's, it is difficult, 
so I'm just gonna try and fight because that just seems what needs to be done. Right, um, that did briefly go yellow, um, so I've launched another offensive, and it looks like we're winning some of the battles. But yeah, I'm hoping the divisions will go down there, be able to cut that off, and they'll all starve. And because I've not got the um, that going to Berlin, they shouldn't get any supplies because Munich won't become the capital. Right, um, for the past few minutes, um, well, minute it is actually minutes for me, um, I've been doing a line Hungary and a line Romania simply because I don't see what else to do and I don't want fascist nations on my doorstep. So it's, por it's important to um, look after your neighbours as well as you because they could p pose a potential threat to you. I've also got non-aggression pacts with them. They're the only two countries that seem to want those, because I can't go for one with Poland for some reason. Um, yeah, they've just got a base reluctance. Can't do Czechoslovakia or Austria, so yeah. Right, we have taken Berlin, and of course they. Um, it's an expulsion, which is always not welcomed. Um, so, right, Munich is now the capital. Berlin is now our capital. Um, yeah, so our only our two front line, two our two capital options are both on the front line, except for Stuttgart, but I, that's not. Yeah, Stuttgart and Hamburg, I highly doubt will become one of our capitals, because that would be in a very bad situation. Right, so if we cut this off, all of these troops now get cut off. Even these ones over here, because they go there, and then that, that would be cut off. And I highly doubt they have uh, access through Czechoslovakia, which is one thing which would save them. Slight problem. Um, we have been pushed back, so they, um, yeah, it's not likely they'll be cut off for now. But we are winning the war. Yeah, they're fifty-nine percent towards capitulation. Partly because Berlin, Berlin, um, Berlin is fifty victory points, which is, and then next up is 20 victory points. So, if we capture Munich and Berlin, it won't be f long. So, their capital might move to Nuremberg or Leipzig, probably we just need to capture Munich or three or, and three of those, those smaller towns and we will likely win the war. Um, you can skip ahead, I can't really do that, for obvious reasons. But, um, yeah. We have lost Berlin, so... RIP. But we didn't start off that, so it doesn't count towards our capitulation. We're literally missing three tiles from our original uh, starting point. Meanwhile, they're missing... Too many to count, which is good. Okay, um, I don't know what quite brought that on. It's just Poland at the moment, possibly because they refused to go, um, well, yeah, it's probably because they refused. Actually, hang yeah, I don't understand how that happened. They're not aligned, so they can't just... Polish war an offensive war, yeah, so, hmm, don't know how they managed that, while well, tension isn't at 40% so th and they're authoritarian, so the limit isn't what happened. Ah, strengthen the Polish states, probably, they probably did Poland 
first, yeah, the between the seas concept. Treaty with Lithuania, the Baltic Alliance. Um, I don't see how that happened, but hey, it's happening. Whatever. Well, that seemed quick. Hmm. I still don't know how that happened. Yeah, that's confusing. Ah, right, we've got a nice bulge here. Um, so that's two places we could cut them off, which is always good. We've got a backup in case the first one fails. Nice. Um, Ernie Mobile, yeah, um, well they don't have 50, they don't have more than 50% of our factories, they don't have more than 40%, so we can only go up to partial mobilization, we don't need, and we don't have the political power, so, probably, well it's, it's not great, but, um, Partial mobilization is definitely better than any mobilization. That's like the border between good and bad. Oh, hang on. Yeah, we've got Berlin back. Great. And their capital is Munich, again. It's like ping pong. Yeah, this is literally ping pong with Berlin. Right, I decided that we should launch another southern offensive, despite the fact that it was our disadvantage. But, uh, well, it looks like, well, the bulge has gotten bigger. We've still not retaken these three tiles from when they took them from us at the start. But, yeah, this is getting way big. Hang on. Yeah, we could cut that. Where are the... Okay, good. There's some divisions. I'm going to have to take them away from the battle, which isn't gr ideal. But, um, yeah, hopefully I can take it. Right, yeah. I'm just going down the navel tree at the moment because that seems what's best for the moment. Oh, hang on. We've done it. We've only gone and done it. <sighs> yeah, so they should all be taking attrition now, and we should be able to just steamroll through. Hoping to secure this area. Um. I'm going to redraw some of the orders now because it's two separate fronts. We don't really want to see that. Right, we have strengthened our grip on the, uh, well, the bulge is now coming through and is touching the, uh, is touching Czechoslovakia. That sounds so wrong, but in a way it just sounds right. Um, <laughs> yeah. Right, we're winning, and the, these are the two tiles they took from us at the start, so, and we've taken this one back, so we're going to regain all of our original land, hopefully. Um, yeah, there was a bit of a um, thing, I, be I believe there was a bit of a problem with reorganisation, but it's, it's fine. I, um, I put most of the troops now on this front, because it's got bigger, and that's where the capital is now. And these ones are taking attrition, so we need less troops. Yeah, you should always distribute your troops so that they're n not bigger land area, but where the bigger threat is. For example, if they're taking attrition, they can't do much, and they're all dying, basically. If they're not, and they're in a smaller area with possibly even more troops, then you need to put your more troops focusing on that area. Right, I um, basically just got confirmation that they were taking attrition. We overrun some troops in this area, 
fact, it looks like I can just march on through and encircle these troops. Yeah, we've taken Dresden. Hmm. Oh, great. Always great. Now this bunch can uh, walk into... Yeah, there. Yeah, we're practically destroying them. Yeah, we don't even need to have loads of troops stationed on this bit, but they're just dying, basically. Leipzig, that's that's a slaughter. Yeah, so we can have two targets at the same time easily. We, I'm not even bothered maybe invading them as long as we take this area. Actually, yeah, they're very close. So if we take Munich, the war is definitely over. The w the war will definitely be over. Right, well, we've taken the east, now we just need to focus on the south. I've appointed a field marshal, and we're just going on aggressive. It's even saying it's good to go, even though all of this army is there, which is a bit odd. Um, I'm not going to bother going for the, this area at the moment, well, not at all, because we can easily just storm through here and the war will be over and we'll own that in no time. Right, um, we're absolutely destroying them, so the civil war should likely uh, be over very quickly now, though we are losing two of the battles. No, oh, oh, three. Yeah, we're they're basically crumbling now, so... Well, hang on, they just took this tile by the looks of things. And we're literally right next to Munich. We've won! Right, um... Didn't think it would actually come that quickly. Yeah. Nazi leadership captured. captured. At, last l at l long last, we have freed our country from the grip of our en enemies, and those loyal citizens who rose up to support our cause may now finally return to their homes. As a nation, we may begin the long and arduous process of rebuilding our nation. The country's leadership, in turn, is free to begin looking ahead at what it might become in the future. Democracy or return to the old monarchy? Definitely option two, please. And, um, well... Nazi leadership. Hmm. I think I am going to hang him. Yeah. Um I am moving my troops to the border with Lithuania because that is the first target on the focus tree. And um Right, my cat has just come in and possibly ruined this take, but I'm gonna put it up other anyway because it's the only one I've got and it's not in that mode so I can't do it again um, right well I'll see you all oh, well, I'll upload the week after this one it's still nearly a week until I'm actually going to upload this one as well so yeah I've got a break and um, yeah it's been fun this is not all and uh, Hopefully in the next episode we can revive the Kaiserreich. Goodbye. I forgot again. It's high in my mode, it saves when it wants to, and the Hindenburg incident has happened. So that, because it's the incident, that means we can restore the Holy Roman Empire, which is good. Although it's not necessarily what I want to do, but it gives us the option. Now I just need to wait. And it seems to have saved. Right. Goodbye.